Hi, welcome back to another episode in my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making something really quick, really tasty. I'm going to be making a potato masala, South Indian style, that goes great with puri. So let's start with the ingredients. We have half a kilo of potatoes here that have been parboiled. Well, they've been fully boiled actually, and they've uh, been allowed to cool, and they've been skinned um, when they cool down. You can either wait for them to cool down or you, you can actually just put them under a cold tap and, and speed things up. So I'm using Jersey Royals. Any potato is going to be fine. We've got a whole load of spices. Um, so it doesn't really make much difference. Um, starchy potatoes are probably the best. So next to that we have one medium carrot that's been cut up into quite small pieces. With this recipe, if anybody's familiar with it, uh, it's not your typical British Indian restaurant style. It's a... Uh, very authentic recipe. South Indian, some people don't add the carrots. Uh, above the carrots here we have four cloves of garlic that have been crushed, finely chopped and then crushed again a little bit so um, it helps uh, extract all that garlicky flavour. Uh, next to that we have quite a reasonable amount of um, green chilli there, um, say about a third of a cupful. I like mine spicy as uh, if you're familiar with my channel you'll You'll know that by now. Uh, you can you can change um, the amount of chilies, obviously. Same with um, any other ingredients. We have one medium onion, red onion, always red onion for South Indian food, finely chopped. We have a teaspoon of mustard seed, half a teaspoon of garam masala, a generous pinch of salt, like a third of a teaspoon, and um, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. And we have one sprig of curry leaves. So all these things here, the red onion, the curry leaves, the mustard seed, very, very important for cooking the majority of uh, South Indian savoury dishes. So let's get cooking. So first we're going to heat up the pan and again with South Indian food, coconut oil. Not essential, but it helps with the authenticity. And uh, for those of you that maybe interested in South Indian food. I'm not sure if we're going to get a good zoom there, we're not. But this is my book, South, uh, Authentic South Indian Cuisine, and this is a recipe straight out of it. That's me in South India some time ago. Apologies for not adjusting the camera so you get a good view of that, but um, there's a lot of really simple recipes um, in that book. So we're just going to add about a tablespoon and a half of coconut oil uh, make sure your pan's hot. Just to keep that oil up and then we're going to do the tadka or uh, to temper the oil. Uh, very common practice in South India. So let's get that oil hot. And then, <clears throat> first things first, let's put it a little bit on a slant so we get so the mustard seed sizzling straight away. The curry leaves, one sprig, about 10 or 12 leaves, you know, if you want to use a little bit more fresh curry leaves obviously, that essential flavour, so I give those a stir, already really smelling a South India already. Let's put the garlic in, ah, one of those poppy seeds, it just splashed me right in the eye, so, um, oh, bear with me a moment, ah, oh, right in the eye, I'm brave, okay, the garlic, just want to toast that garlic. We've got everything really hot now, so that's not going to take long. Then we're going to add, that's already toasting, it's already browning, I can smell it. Straight in with the onions, the moisture content will stop the garlic from cooking anymore. Give it a good stir. I'm going to turn the heat down, I don't want that garlic to burn. So that's your typical South Indian um, basis of a lot, a lot of dishes. So let's add the let's add the chilies. See how quick and simple this is. And you might be saying, "Oh, potato curry, how boring!" But no, with puri it goes amazing. So those chilies straight in, give them a whirl. Everything's on pretty high heat here now. Let's add the salt. <coughs> The garam masala, 
the turmeric powder. Give that a stir, make sure you um, cook those spices through. Turn the oil yellow straight away, which is great. Wow, that really does smell great. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add an egg cup full of water. Just a tiny little bit of water there. Just to stop the spices burning and make sure that turmeric is thin enough so it covers the potatoes. Now, excuse my fingers here. Whoops. All right, let's put the draft extractor on excuse my fingers all I'm gonna do you you might not want to use such a crude method but I just squash it in my hands are clean straight in you might want to I don't know you might want to grate it you might want to um, cut it up, up into small pieces doesn't matter as long as it resembles a, you know very coarse mashed potato you're on to a winner so straight in with that excuse fingers Right, give that a good stir and uh, you can see maybe why we added some of that water so it just helps the turmeric move around in that potato and mixes those ingredients up nicely let's add the carrots and there it is we can turn it right down now and we just give that a really good stir I'm tempted to put some fresh coriander in there, but that's fine. I'm not going to. Got amazing colour already. Uh, that's as simple as it is. We just let that heat up a bit. Any any lumps, we can um, just squash it in a bit. So that's no heat now. Make sure that's turned off. And I cooked this not long ago. Let's serve it. And I must say, I just couldn't, I couldn't even wait for the puris to cook before I started eating it. So look at that. Authentic South Indian. Quick, simple, delicious. So, can we get a close up on that? So there it is. Can you get quicker? Can you get simpler? Apologies for the steam going on the lens there, but thanks for watching. Puri recipe coming up next.